Hello, my name is Micah Zayner, and I am the Senior Growth Marketing Manager at Courier.com, the fastest way to design and build notifications for your app, an API for app-to-user communication. Um, but we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about Notion. Um, if you're not familiar with Notion, it's basically an informant, information management database architecture structure kind of like a, a library a wiki um, great for teams to uh, prevent siloing of information and kind of have a centralized repository for all of your information and um, if you as you can see we're on a notion page called the dashboard and I'm here to show you my B2B marketing dashboard that I made in Notion after watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and then finally settling with a how to build a task manager from scratch with Thomas Frank. Um, I'll link that in the video or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So here we are. Um, one of the things that you should really know about Notion is, is um, it is about master databases and then linked views of the database where you create an instance and then you apply a filter and a sorting function to that instance. And if you're familiar with Excel spreadsheets, they kind of have this, but you're like forced into the Excel spreadsheet UI. Um, and so that's what I really like about this is I can like modulize all of my different databases and apply different formats to them. Like here you see meeting notes. This is a gallery view where it's a tiled view of database entries versus a list view of database entries. And so that's one thing you really need to understand is there's master databases, there's linked views of databases and then you apply filters and sorting functions to those linked views to have really cool functions throughout your own architecture and so let's just start here so this is a linked view and that's what that arrow means and this is a master database and if there's no arrow if you want to go to the master database library this is the meeting notes master database but if we come back to the dashboard there's only two objects here what's happening well there's a filter applied archive is not checked okay oh wow all of these are archive checked right so we can go in and we can click on these little check boxes and then when we come back to the dashboard all of a sudden all those objects are back and that's the amazing thing about these filters is they can control information and then you can interact with said controlled information however you please. So let's uh, start a new one. Let's go to the template, weekly huddle template. Let's apply a date. Let's say September 3rd. So we're going to do the meeting nine three. Apologies if you can hear some construction noise in the background. I don't work in a sound studio like most creators. Um, and there we go. It popped up right here. Micah is the greatest of all time. Oh, I did 9-3. <laughs> but still, this was from a previous try at making this video. Um, and so that's what I wanted to show is you could type in. I'm not really good at typing fast. You put information in here and it shows up on the tile. So that's super sweet for like relevant, important information in regards to the meeting. You can have that show so that people have quick access to like seeing that information. So here we are with um, the employees. This is Micah. Micah has his own database. And we can even delete this for now. We'll go back to the dashboard. Campaign calendar, here we are. Okay, so these are all a bunch of like campaigns that I pulled over from my architecture within my company and I renamed them and still left the labels and stuff so you can kind of see how this layout is gonna work. Related content properties is what's super important. So when you're in a campaign calendar, you're obviously gonna make content for the campaign and you can make related content properties attached to it. 
So blogs, ads, videos, events, talks, meetups, whatever you choose, you can make that happen. So let's start a new campaign. So another key feature in Notion is templating. And so I like to save templates with brackets around them so I know that they're templates. And this will be, um, let's just say campaign 99. What's the strategy? So you can go in and type, this is a text-based entry. You can go in and have a multi-select based entry for audience. You can have a single select or multi-select for goals. And you can have the UTM that you're gonna be using in all of your links. And then it says here related to growth, right? What's related to so this is related to growth content and tasks, right? So this is growth content and tasks right here. So these two are synced. Watch this. Log 52. It appeared right there. So in here, now we're creating a property that is associated with campaign 99. We can add a stakeholder if we want. I don't really like adding stakeholders to content properties. I prefer to add them to task properties, but we can add an execution date. So let's say next week on the 20th, we can say what kind of content type it is. Let's make it a blog, but let's like uncheck blog. Watch this. We have blog 52 made, we go into blog 52 and let's say, okay, we're going to start planning out blog 52. How do we do that? Well, I've got another template made called blog content and tasks. I click on that. And now it automatically brings this up. It may have not implemented, it should have applied that blog tag to it. It may have not applied it because I already applied it and deleted it because it usually keeps what you've edited. And so in its history, it understood that I had edited this field. Um, and that kind of carries over when you apply a template to it. And so now inside of this blog, I can add tasks like post to social or make final edits and publish on Contentful, right? And so as like a team leader or even somebody who's managing your own stuff, this is super important for understanding everything, right? You can get as detailed as you want. Let's go with stakeholders. I'm going to put myself for both of them. Right, there we go. So we've got two tasks next Friday that pertain to this blog. So let's go out, right? We, we've built out this architecture now, so we understand. Campaigns, content, tasks. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go to the MICA page. It's empty right now, but what I can do is I can link it to a database. So we're gonna hit the plus sign here. Linked, create linked database, and then we're gonna Go to growth content and tasks. These are all of the tasks present in the organization, but we only want Micah's tasks. So we're going to go to filter and add a filter. We're going to go down to stakeholder and then add Micah. There we go. And we can even get a little bit more explicit. Let's turn this into a group. Let's add an and task. Done is not checked. And let's even get more, because if you can see right here, this is a blog, this isn't a task. Let's add filter, oops, content or task is task. There you go. So every day I come in here, now watch this. Oops, we gotta change the view a little bit. Properties is where you can change the database perspective. 
So right now it's name, name, name. I want done all the way over to the edge. I want execution date all the way over to the edge. I want related campaign. I don't think that's going to show up. I want related content property. There we go. Content piece. All the way over to the edge. So now you know. It's related to blog 52. These are tasks. Those are the dates. You can select done when you want. If you don't want any of these to show, you can just check them off. And there you have it. So you can go like this, we come out, you can structure, you know, the size of the columns, however you please. And you have a task manager. And so you can come out every day, your employees can come in, they can click here. Every day you can come in and click here. And these are all the tasks that are task. You can go to content and you can say, okay, what are all the pieces of content we're working on? What is, what are, where are the bottlenecks? Things like that. You can identify stages of planning that you're having issues in. Super relevant, super functional. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.